Hello everyone, my name is Karan Masru. Welcome to this video. So in this video, we are going to discuss solution of the problem minimum operations. First of all, let us start by understanding the question. What does question say? Given a number capital N, find the minimum number of operations required to reach N starting from 0. You have two operations available. Double the number or add 1 to the number. So basically, we are starting with 0 and we need to reach N. N is given in the input. And at every step, we can do either of the two things. Either we can add 1 to our current number or we can double the current number. Okay. So let's say we started from 0. From 0, we added 1. It became 1. Okay. Then we multiplied it by 2 because we can double. So it became 2. Then again, we multiplied by 2. It became 4 and so on. So at every step, we have either of the two choices, either to multiply the number by 2, double the number or to add 1 to the current number. And we need to find the minimum operations required to reach n. If we look at the first example, if we want to reach 8, then uh, the number of steps required are 4. In the first step, I will add 1, then uh, I will again add 1, it will become 2, then I will double it, it will become 4, and then I will again double it, it will become 8. These are the minimum number of steps. Second is n equal to 7, the output is 5. So first I will add 1, then uh, I will again add 1, so it will become 2, then I will again add 1, it will become 3. Then I'll double it, it will become 6 and then I add 1, so it will become 7. So these are the 5 steps. You don't need to read, input or print anything. Your task is to complete the function minimum operations which accepts integer n and return minimum number of operations required to reach n from 0. Expected time complexity is log n and expected auxiliary space is constant and the constraints are given here. So if we think about solving this problem, so basically we are given n in the uh, input, right? And we need to start with a number 0. So let us take x equal to 0. Now we want to make x equals to n in minimum number of operations. And at every step, we can either increment x. So either we can do x equals to x plus 1 or we can do uh, x equal to 2 times x. We can double the value of x, okay? So what are the minimum number of such operations required to reach from 0 to n or to make this x equals to n? So now understand one thing, starting from 0 and reaching to n is a bit confusing for us. What we can do is we can think of it in reverse direction, right? We can think of making n equals to 0 by either of the two operations, okay? So what are the minimum number of operations required to make n equals to 0 instead of making 0 equals to n? by either of the two operations. The first operation would be subtract 1 from the x. Instead of adding, we can say subtract because we are looking in reverse direction. And another is uh, divide x by 2. So x is equals to x by 2. Okay. Now understand one thing. If we are starting from n and we want to reach 0, whenever the number is odd, we can only subtract 1. Okay. For example, if my n is equals to 9. Okay. And Originally, I want to reach from 0 to 9, right? We are thinking in this way just for our uh, convenience, but we want to make 0 equal to 9. So, uh, at a certain point of time, let's say n became 8, then we had to add 1 and make it 9. Are you getting my point? If we want to reach 9 from 0, we the last step, the last step just before 9 would be plus 1 only. It cannot be multiplied by 2 because uh, 4.5 into 2, doubling 4.5 gives me 9. But if I am starting with 0 and at every step, if I am adding one number or doubling the number, I will never reach 4.5. I will always get integers. Okay. So if we think in reverse direction, when, then whenever the number is odd, the last step would be adding 1. Okay, So in reverse direction, it would be subtracting 1. Another thing is, whenever the number is even, we can either subtract 1 or divide it by 2. But dividing it by 2 will be the best choice. Why? Because uh, it will uh, take us to smaller value in minimum number of steps. For example, uh, I have a number 10. Okay. So let me take, uh, let me divide it by 2. So it became 5. Uh, in another case, I will subtract 1 from it. So it became 9. Now I cannot divide 9 by 2 because it will give me 4.5. So I again subtract 1. So it became 8. Here, this is odd. So I have to subtract 1. This became 4. Now uh, let me uh, again subtract 1 from this. It became 7. Here I will divide it by 2. So it became 2. Here, since the number is odd, I again have to subtract. I have no choice. Here, let me divide it by 2 and let me subtract 1. So I reach 0. Here, let me divide it by 2. So it became 3. Then since the number is 3 odd, so I have to subtract 1. So it became 2. Then again, divide it by 2, it became 1 and then became 0. 
right so this takes more number of steps because whenever the number is even look here uh, here uh, fr from 10 to 6 it took how many steps 1 2 3 4 and here from 10 to 5 it reach only in one step so what I am trying to conclude is instead of thinking from 0 to n we can think from n to 0 by either of the two operations either subtracting 1 or dividing the number by 2 okay instead of multiplying and for the optimal case see when the number is odd we can only subtract 1 we cannot divide it by 2 and when the number is even so dividing it by 2 is the best case because it will subtract the it will take to a smaller value in minimum number of steps okay so what we will do until n is greater than 0 if the number n is even then divide it by 2 and increment the count of number of steps if the number is odd then subtract 1 and increment the count of number of steps for example uh, let us take 7 7 is odd so i will subtract my number of operations became 1 this is even divided by 2 my number of operations became 2 uh, this is odd subtract 1 so it became 2 number of operations became 3 this is even divided by 2 number of uh, the number became 1 number of operations became 4 now this is odd so subtract 1 it became 0 number of operations became 5 so 5 is my answer for 7 okay so uh, i hope you understood the concept now let's look at its actual implementation so if we look at the actual implementation so i have taken answer in which i will count the number of steps as 0 and while n is greater than 0 if the number is even divided by 2 else subtract 1 from it and do answer plus plus that is the number of steps or number of operations will increase until n is greater than 0 this will happen when n will become 0 we will come out of the loop and will return answer what would be the time complexity see whenever the number is uh, even it will be divided by 2 whenever the number is odd it will subtract 1 from it and then again it will become even now again it will be divided by 2 so maximum number of uh, log n operations will be there of dividing by 2 and maximum number of log n operations will be there of subtracting 1 because when the number is odd and you subtract 1 it became even now you again divide it by 2 and if you keep dividing the number by 2 we know that in log n operations it will become 0 right uh, it will reach to uh, 1 okay and then in the last step you can subtract 1 so maximum these many would be there one subtraction uh, then divide then subtraction then divide that would be the worst case and here I can say it is 2 log n 2 is constant so I can say big O of log n base 2 and what would be the auxiliary space the auxiliary space here would be constant because we are not taking we are only taking one variable now let's submit this code so let us submit it so we have solved this question successfully i hope you understood the solution completely thank you